It started in the tropical waters of the Hawaiian Islands. I was running a series of operational tests for a manufacturer. Tests on underwater photography with both motion picture and television cameras. The water was exceptionally warm. This was bringing in large amounts of plankton, cutting down the visibility. the plankton were bringing in many beautiful fish for me to photograph. Suddenly I realized that they were bringing in something else too, sharks. I figured as long as the sharks were after the fish, that I'd be safe. I kept my camera cranking. This was a rare opportunity to photograph these vicious man-eaters. More sharks were moving in now. They kept circling, but their circles around me were getting smaller. They were moving faster and faster, too, never taking their cold eyes off of me. Somehow, I began to sense a change in the mood. They were coming terribly close now. I knew I had to get back to shallower water and the pier in a hurry. When I reached the pier, a message was waiting for me. Come up. With the sharks not far behind me, I didn't need an invitation to get out of the water. But what I was coming up to was going to prove an even greater threat to my life than the sharks had been. Send that slate down? Yes. Lieutenant Dave Calicoa, Mr. Nelson. Oh, looks like I'm surrounded. Am I getting a ticket? I'm the one who came to see you, Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson, let me introduce you to Sandra and Tommy. Mr. Tommy? Call me Sandy, Mike. Prettiest policeman I've ever seen. I'm not even a policewoman. Come aboard, I'll show you why I'm here. Maru! Hey, I was here. You probably don't know this island, Nalua. Nalua? No, I don't think I do. I own it. We raise one crop on Nalua. Pearls. Oh, coated pearls, huh? Yes. I've got quite a problem. You see, my pearl beds lie just off the island. You can almost see them from the beach. And still, in the last month, someone's been stealing my pearls. Skin divers? Scuba divers? Probably. But I can't move until I have evidence. Witnesses, proof. When I heard you were testing underwater cameras, I had an idea. I want to borrow one of your cameras so I can go down and photograph the thieves. Oh, that's too dangerous. I pay you for the camera. It's not dangerous for the camera, it's dangerous for you. You've got to understand, Mike. I need that camera badly. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandy. Can't let you have it. Not unless I went with it. You understand, don't you? Yes, I understand. What do you mean? I do understand. Oh, you mean uh, you want me to go with it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's not waste any more time. She looked exotic and sounded like an oriental pixie. She was also a very bright, shrewd businesswoman. She insisted on showing me the pearl beds herself. In 
a few minutes, we reached the pearl beds. The pearl oysters were arranged on racks, and I could see how they'd be easy to rob if you could get at them undetected. Sandy showed me where the robbery had taken place. She got angry all over again when she saw what had happened to her pearl oysters. Diver could just hit and run. With a small fortune. Some of those pearls have been growing for 30 years. 30 years? Oh, that's a long time for a pearl oyster to be irritated like that. <laughs> hey, tell me, uh, what do you put inside of an oyster to begin with? I mean, to uh, force a pearl to grow. Ha, <laughs> that's a secret. Cultured pearls were invented by Agent Young in the city of Tetson in the 13th century. Ever since, people have tried to find out how it's done. And my grandfather learned how in Japan. And it's still a secret. OK, I just asked. Well, I'm sorry, Mike. I feel it's, well, a sort of a family trust. But I make it up to you with the best dinner you ever ate. How about it, huh? Glad I asked. I was beginning to like Sandy more and more, and I hoped that I could catch her thieves for her. Starting tomorrow morning, I'd set my photographic trap. The next morning, I was watching the waters off Malua for any sign of divers. I was surprised to see a boat moving in fairly close to the island. I kept out of sight as I watched. The boat continued on past me without stopping. What I couldn't see was what was going on on the other side of the boat. Then I spotted something, bubbles. It dawned on me that the boat must have dropped scuba divers as it went by. I got into my fins, grabbed my camera, and got into the water as fast as I could. Figured it right. They were on their way to the pearl beds. I ducked behind the rock. They 
headed right for the racks. It was time to start taking pictures. beautiful shot for me for Sandy and for the police but I was being careless I was paying no attention to the fact that my camera motor was making a lot of noise when one of them swam off I thought that he was hunting more pearls I was getting all the evidence anybody could ask for, complete and perfect. Then, the roof fell in. While the first diver grappled with me, the second ripped the film from the camera. The sound of the approaching boat scared the two thieves away, but I was too weak to move, and the air was draining from my tank. Sandy's concern for me had brought her to the surface above the pearl beds, where I was half drowning after being overpowered by two thieves.
drink this, Mike. Drown yourself down there. Uh, they gave you a rough time down there, Mike. Oh, hi, right, Dave. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. What are you doing here? Sandy radioed to us, but before we could get here, their boat was out of sight. I got a feeling that they're going to be back. You kidding? No. Nope. Well, that'd be a pretty stupid thing to do. They must know you'd notify the police. Well, if they thought they'd drown me, they'll be back as soon as they think it's safe. Let them have the pearls. They're not worth your life. Thank you, Sandy. Didn't think you cared. But I'm not doing this for you anymore. I'm doing it for myself. No. I got a personal grudge to settle with him. Dave, I got an idea. But I'll need your help. You got it. What's on your mind? I'm going to make those two greedy characters famous. I'm going to put them on TV. <laughs> Dave cooperated in a hurry. His men brought in my television equipment. By next morning, it was installed, including a monitor screen on the police launch. The launch itself was anchored in a cove out of sight of the pearl beds. Hey, that's a good picture. Yeah, I think that's about as sharp as I can get it. Watch this pan shot now, huh? Hey, Sandy, come here and have a look. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Televised for the first time, the prettiest girl on Nalua. The only girl on Nalua. Mike, I've been thinking, I still don't like it. Stop worrying, will you? I think it's a pretty ingenious plan myself. While a crime is being committed, the law is going to be watching every move that's being made. That's right. This is really one for the books. And the next time they show up, we'll get them for sure. But what if they get you first? Relax. And keep your eye on that monitor. Mike, good luck. I'll never have any better luck. <laughs> got there. Funny. It's so peaceful down there. Now. The same boat that I had spotted the day before was not far from the Lua. This time, all three members of the crew were preparing to die and to deal with anything that they might run into. ready to return to the police launch when I saw them. They were swimming right into the trap that I'd set, but they were coming from the wrong direction. They were not in range of the television camera. As far as the people on the police launch were concerned, they were not visible. Night and 
peaceful down there. It's probably relaxing, enjoying the view. My only chance was to maneuver them in front of the TV camera. Somehow I had to turn them around, move them in the other direction. I never thought that I'd see the day when a couple of Hawaiian policemen in swimming trunks would look just like angels. But this was it. And I could thank Dave and his assistant for my life. chance for a free trip back to Honolulu. You can just stop it, Dave. Mike is staying right here until he's well. Oh, that's right. After all, I'm due for a vacation. Are you going to have one? Wish I had a pretty girl to underwrite my vacation. But nobody loves a cop. Don't you cry now, Dave, boy. When you want a testimonial, you come to me, and I'll give it to you in my best handwriting. I have a testimonial for you, Mike. Oh? But not in writing. What do you mean? Well, that's the best testimonial I ever got in my life. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Dave. Hello there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is fun and adventure for young and old, but it can be dangerous. So know the sport well and don't take any chances. Be with you next week for another exciting sea hunt.